folks. Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to check out today's tips and tricks video on the brand new and improved fireworks effect for 2019 in X Lights. Guys, this is a really cool addition, a couple of cool additions that have been added into the fire, fire, fireworks effect that will be very helpful for some of you who are particular about um, making specific things happen whenever you have a firework explode for inside your matrix or in whatever uh, um, specific part of the sequence that you'd like it to perform. So what I want to show you today is this XY location edition, and I'm going to keep this video short because there, there are a number of additions into X lights into the firework effect, and I want to keep it very simple. So we're only going to deal with one of these for right now, and that is the XY location. So if you're geometrically challenged the way that I am sometimes, sometimes I say horizontal and vertical, sometimes I say left and right and top to bottom, uh, the X location is going to be your horizontal, your left to right. Your Y location is going to be your top to bottom or your vertical orientation. And as you can see, we have a negative one. That negative one denotes to X lights that this is in the original X lights default mode where the fireworks were randomly generated somewhere. So if I respawn this, this is going to randomly regenerate somewhere else with a different type of firework. And that's how the fireworks effect does work. It, res it respawns in a separate area or a different randomized area, maybe close or similar, but each time you respawn it, it could be a different type of firework. So if we want to take it out of location specific spawning and put it into manual specific spawning, so we can change the X axis, the left and right axis to a specific number. I'm going to put it right in the middle. So uh, it's going to somewhere in the middle on the Y axis, it's going to randomly generate. And I'm going to put this right in the middle somewhere. So 50. And right now, it's spawning down here. If I try to respawn it, it spawns a little bit taller. If I try to respawn it again, it goes up a little higher. But it's generally staying in the X location. So now I'm going to take this out of the, um, out of the random location. And I'm going to specify that it be 50% and 50%, which is dead center of our matrix or wherever the uh, buffer is set to be the center. And that's where the effect is going to take place. Now, you can also notice that you can slide this over this way. You can have the effect on the, on the uh, right side of the axis or the left side. And you can move it up and you can move it down. So if you have specific locations where you want that firework effect to uh, spawn at or be, uh, be a specific effect that goes off, you can now set that manually. Now what this also does, what this also does is uh, let's go ahead and play with some value curves. Now I'm going to reference another video that I've done that utilizes the 2D path editor, which was a very popular video. Um, if you go into tools, you can you can generate a 2D path or a two dimensional path for these value curves to allow this fireworks effect to travel on. So if I do that, if I do that, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select. Now I've already created these. I'm not going to show you exactly what, but you can see if I hover over some of my pre-generated uh, 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 value curves here, this one says, let's see, we want to find this one here, infinity. No, we want the clockwise X, which would be this one here. This is clockwise X. It's really hard for me to explain it, but if you read that tagline, it says there's the location and the very last words, it says clockwise, circle clockwise X. So that means put this on the X axis or the X value curve. And that's the curve that we're going to use to get a perfect circle on the X axis. And let's go in here and change this to the Y. And let's see what happens there. And so now we should see the effect is spawning in this circular pattern right now. If I go ahead and let's add 16 back into here, you'll see that the fireworks effect is now spawning in that circular XY pattern across those locations. You can change it up again. So check that out. That's pretty cool. If you want an explosion effect 
using this circular pattern. You can also change this out if you have different value curves, like you want to do, we did a figure eight or an infinity pattern. If you go to the uh, X value, I think that's the X value here, and this is the Y value. You can have a figure eight effect. We actually need a whole lot more. Let's do that. So there's your figure eight effect with the fireworks effect. And you're utilizing, you're being able to utilize the, um, the, the value curves in the 2D value curve generator and really create something that's pretty spectacular. Uh, so folks, this is the one thing that I really wanted to share with you, that this is the combining of two specific lessons. And if this is something that's very helpful for you, I'd like you to give this video a big thumbs up. Like this video if you liked it, share it with everybody. If you loved it, remember to hit that big red subscribe button at the bottom of the channel here and also hit the bell for notifications so that you know when we put up more awesome content on the fireworks effect, which probably will be coming relatively soon. And if you haven't done yet, so please head over to pixelprodisplays.com, sign up for a free membership. We have a ton more videos that are hidden over there for you to learn more about X lights and they're free for you to view, as well as we have an awesome PPD sequence club that helps you save a ton of money on your pixel purchases, on your Coro purchase, and your, also your controller builds through our PPD affiliates discount program. Members perks are coming soon, folks. Folks, if you love these videos, please make sure you help support us by heading over to PPD. Thank you so much for joining us today, folks. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you in the next video. Down through the chimney with those and me. Sam, and every time it rains, it rains. <laughs>